Hello guys, today we are going to talk about the sound detection microphone module known as KY038. This is the module itself. So, let's get started. Today's video is brought to you by ORGVSN, an online store where you can find shirts, jeans and cool accessories that fit your needs. All the products are made in Italy. They can be shipped worldwide. So don't waste your time, start looking fancy today with their style. For more information go to orgvsmshop.net or check it out at the link on the video description. This module has integrated on board one microphone, one potentiometer, one microchip, six resistors and two LEDs. The resistors are one. Using this module it's 10 kilo ohms. The resistor R2 is 100 kilo ohms. The resistor R3 is 150 ohm. The resistor R4 is 1 kilo ohm. The resistor R5 is 1 kilo ohm. And the resistor R6 is 100 kilo ohms. The main reason for using the resistors is to limit current circulating inside the module. In other words, to prevent current from burning our module. The LED L1 lights up to show if the module is working properly or not. Now I will show how these components are connected together. There we have the sensor itself. And of course, six resistors and two LEDs. On the right you can see how the pins of the module are connected on this board. We have in black the flow of the ground, we have in red the flow of the voltage, we have in light green the flow of the analog signal and of course we have in green the flow of the digital signal. This module it is used to detect noise, claps, hits, etc. It allows us to detect when sound has exceeded a set point we have chosen so that the sensor can detect it. Sound is detected via the microphone and fit into the microchip itself. The detection of the sound level is adjusted via the potentiometer that's on the board. In normal state, the digital output that this module will give, it will be high. But when the sensor detects something, the digital output that the module will give, it will be low. Let's talk about the pins. The pins in this module are four. We have the ground pin with G sign. We have the voltage pin with the plus sign. We have the analog pin with A0 sign and of course we have the digital pin with a D0 sign. So let's talk about the signal. This module gives two signals. We can connect the pin of the analog signal with any analog port and the pin of the digital signal with any digital port of different microcontroller boards like Arduino, or Raspberry Pi. That's it guys for today. If you like the video, hit that like button. If you want more videos like this one, hit the subscribe button with a bell icon so you'll be notified for every video. We upload new videos every day, so the only chance to see them first is of course through subscription. Don't forget to check our social media and see you guys next time.